Hey there guys, how are you doing? My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 68 of our semi-blind run in Hoshigami Ruining Blue Earth. In our last episode, we kick-started the events by taking a look at the status menu for all of our characters just so that you guys could see any of the changes that had taken place off camera without you. Once we were done knocking that off our task list, we made our way to Aus where we sadly found out just through a couple of musings that Rupert offered up that he was the last man standing from the order of Denante and he was left to tackle some of these weird demon-like creatures that I believe Via is responsible for summoning. I'm sure we'll find out more about that as we, you know, continue through these last couple of fights that await us, but that is all we really were presented with. Rupert, he was getting a little grim and getting a bit dark by offering up that he thought this was it for him, but he was going to take as many of these fuckers down with him as possible, but... As Faz and crew, we were able to show up in time to lend a hand. So let's go ahead and start the battle. We've got everyone that we can have from our team here on the field. But we have to use Rupert, which isn't ideal, to be honest with you guys. I know Alvin's not great, great, but he's better than Rupert's set up to be. Rupert's level, I think he's level 44 we just saw. And, oh my god, I don't know how we're going to get to some of this shit. So once again, like the fight at Aus Plains, I almost feel like it's not going to be worth it for me. Oh, it's back here too. So both of the hidden items are behind blocks? Or wait, was there just one? Oh, no, okay. So one is close to our team and then the other one's across the way. Okay, well that's not a big deal. Let's start sending someone over here to get this. Or maybe I should kill everyone first and then we'll try to get these. I think that's what I'm going to do, kind of like the Aus Plains. I, I don't know how I feel. Yeah, I just don't know how I feel about about this. So we'll, we'll try to kill some people first. I'm more concerned about the mages than anyone else. So we'll let them do their thing and then I'm gonna try to clear some of these waves. Or if I'm lucky, maybe I can send Elena this way. But I wanted her to still have a chance to move because then she could take out the folks that are directly north of her. So I don't know, let's see how that goes. And I can't go full offense here since we do have Rupert sort of chill in there. So let's see what we can do up here. We've got, ooh, Belunga is going to be great on the stone. It looks like Gren should be good. And then what happens on these moss covered? Okay, so it looks like we actually have some options here. Fuck this mage. Fuck him in the ass, y'all. All right, I'm going to try to catch him with Belunga. Oh, you guys, I know this is a total aside and I should have shared this in our last episode, but I completely spaced for some reason as I was just trying to quickly highlight some of the changes that took place with regard to which coins we technically switched out, looking at more of their MCP relative to their CPC, that fun stuff. Something else I wanted to note is that I did go ahead and max out all of the ranges for my elemental coin. So previously you probably saw that they were mostly like sixes and sevens and I might have had one eight. Now every single one of my elemental coins have a range of eight. I'll try to show you guys or point it out when we're getting ready to cast some spells. I don't know if this is going to make a humongous difference, but while I was already just in the mood to switch things up, I thought I would go ahead and just fucking do it. And I did. So again, if you've got the cash for it, I think now is as good of a time as any to just go ahead and drop it and see what you can make happen. So that was what went down. Yeah, again, my apologies. That's absolutely something that I could have highlighted in our previous episode, but I did not. So there you have it now. I try my best to show you guys any and all changes that do take place without you, but it is a bit hard at times to keep up with everything. All right, Sulfados, there we go. And we'll just have him chillax up here. Oh, wow. Are they really not going to do anything? And fuck me, I, for some reason, thought that there were only two mages, but it looks like there are three, which makes sense, which is how they're lined up. 
I don't know if I can reach all of them. Or maybe I can. We'll see what this does. I want very much to try killing at least one person. Or I shouldn't say at least one. It'd be nice to kill like two people within the turns that my characters get. But I mean, the best thing would be killing one person per turn period. But that is not gonna happen. Just, it just isn't gonna happen. Plus, I think a lot of our levels are equally matched or a bit under the enemies right now. And I did get a few levels on people. I let you guys take a second to kind of look at those changes to stats and look at those just raw numbers. But there's only so much you can do. I wasn't going to spend hours and hours off camera grinding anymore. I think if there's even another tower of trial that populates before we reach the end of the game, I don't even think I'm going to go back through it. To me, we're just so close to the end and I'm not planning on, I don't know if there's like a new game plus for this, I doubt it, but I'm not planning on replaying and I'm not trying to obviously get everything. This has absolutely been, uh, hang on, before I say that, let me see if I can reach them. Nope, I better just move her forward. And I'm absolutely not trying to get everything or or do anything too fancy. It's This has absolutely just been a semi-blind run. The things that I remember, I try to make sure that I did or that I at least discussed. And then the things that I didn't remember and I just discovered naturally with you guys in tow, that was fabulous. And then there are things that I'm sure we just messed, and I honestly don't care. Maybe if I ever did play this again, which I don't think I would, not even for the best ending. I think I'd rather just see or read about it online, like what that's supposed to be, but I don't have the energy to go back through all of this. Although you could say with the knowledge that's been gained from this experience, you probably could do some really cool, cool things. Hang on, let me just watch my ass here. I might move fast here. And this isn't gonna do that much, but again, just for the sake of getting some XP and some of those devotional points, I'm hoping that that will make a bit of a difference for my team. The leveling up anyway is going to be nice. And I, oh my God, like fast is magic. It does nothing but 11 XP. You can't go wrong with it, friends. You can't go wrong with it. But if I ever did play this again, I guess the argument could be made that technically there are ways that you could, with the knowledge that we've gained at this point in the game, we could probably set our teams up to be OP pretty early on if we just focus on mages and lots of grinding at the Towers of Trial. I just think that there are ways you could, you could make it flow and you could make it work. I think I'm gonna just try to physically attack this guy. Oh God, I'm not feeling super confident in Leia's Blia, and especially with, yeah, especially with him, Rupert being stuck right there, front and center. I don't know how I how I like that. Oops, my bad, bro, my bad. And does she have a, an effect on her immobile 25%? So not super good, but it is what it is. We're about to get you the fuck out of here. Maybe we can put some people to sleep. I don't know. 41%, ah, uh, no, because I want to move him. I don't think he is good enough to just be chilling up here. One wrong move from the mages, or actually I guess it'd be a right move on their part, but any wrong moves from me and it's a wrap. You know what, I think I will have Elena go ahead and cast some shit. What did we say was good here? So we don't want to use water or earth. Yeah, no water. Okay. Looks like everything else would technically be okay. So line need it is. Let's see how many of you we can fuck up with this. Bing, bang, boom. Please, we should kill someone. Someone is going to get pretty darn close, friends. Oh, yeah, that one. Rest in peace. It's about to be over. And Elena, I don't know if you guys noticed this, she's really close to getting another devotional level. 
So I think what comes next in the line of worshiping Elvia is the equipped coin plus two, which is going to be amazing. So I think, there we go. Much like Metalev, Elena is going to be fucking people to pieces in our next fight. Now, this is something that since I noticed that she was very close to getting that next level in terms of her skills and the points, I could have opted to have her just chill at the Tower of Trial a bit and get that myself and make sure that I came into this fight with an additional coin, but I didn't want to belabor any of the tasks that I had already set forth for myself. I just, I was ready to go. We're so close to the end, and not to say that that is a, wow, does he have the seven pains shit also? That's a little lame. What the fuck? What's the actual fuck? I wonder, is seven pains something that just naturally comes with, huh, I wonder if that's something that naturally comes with worshiping, was it you, Vaktis? I bet it is, y'all, I bet it is. Elegaic or elegaic? night interesting okay well we're gonna try to kill all of you or a few of you at least and uh, I might want to actually have Sofedo's heal up fast I'll see where we're at because if we can kill a few of them I don't want to then waste my time you know I want to be, yeah, because I think Irma will be able to go soon enough. So it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Let's cast it here. And two of them should be going down. Y'all, this fight's going significantly easier than the Aus Plains. That fight was, holy crap. But again, I acknowledge the role that I played in that. A lot of that was my fault. At least towards the end. And fuck. You're so close, Sophados. I can't wait for him to get access to Refined CF so that he can cast multiple. What the fuck? Of course. What are you doing? I think that Faz is going to be all right, but nice try. We still, though, don't want to get too cocky because shit can get hairy pretty fast. And I'm not trying to hear that. Yeah, especially with poison, but hey, that sleep clear. Very nice. So... Just to kill off, I don't know. He will definitely die. You will definitely die. And you will definitely die. So let's kill these guys. Actually, I can move over one. And I should be able to get all of... Well, poop. And I... Oh, it's going to hit Sylphados. But that is okay because I'm about to heal Sylphados and Faz. So, it's all good. Normally, you guys know I am not a huge fan of fucking up my team, but for the sake of getting some of these kills and woohoo, all that XP, all that devotion, holler. And now we will use our, we'll just use this one to get some good heals off. And Irma can chillax. Y'all, this is going so great. Oh my goodness. Any fear that I had going into this, I guess it probably was a bit unneeded. Well, and I guess you could argue that we're much better prepared now just from the... Oh, I can go again. I don't know if I have enough to really... I might just... Mm. Where's this guy at? Let's just try to damage him a little bit. Again, anything to decentivize them attacking us and instead focus their efforts on healing themselves, I think is a, a worthwhile turn for me. Beautiful. So levels all around. She's at now level 46. So we're catching up. I think most of us should be around 47 by the end of this fight. Well, there we go. There's the fucking heal that I was not looking forward to. But I suppose it needed to happen. But with Faz kind of set up here, I'm thinking if anyone approaches him, these guys should be going down. What? And you're healing yourself? I don't really like the look of that because, again, they do have some pretty scary spells. Some of them do. Not all of them. I didn't look at the one off to the left-hand side, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. So, I think I'm going to focus on 
Let's just focus on killing... I think we can kill these two. I might be better off just waiting... Ooh. I don't know if I can get them and not get Sylphados. I don't think there's... I do not think that there is a way. So sorry, Sylphados. Sucks to be you, but... You're kind of right there in the line of fire. I gotta do what I gotta do to fuck these guys up. But if I'm lucky, I might have room to go ahead and heal them up. Oh, I don't... Rupert has a heal, correct? Let me check this before I... Yes, he does. So Rupert will get some XP here. Actually, that works out really nicely for me then. Where did I have that? Oh, it's on Leia now. Even better. Even better for Rupert. I think... Oh my god, that is not good for Leia. So let me not do that a second time. But we should kill this one douchebag. Let's move it here. And bing, bang, boom, y'all. Check this out. One of them's gone. Metal of is unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. And no, this guy barely lived. What the fuck? Absolute trash. Whatever. Let's get them heels off, y'all. And I think if we're lucky, we can then do what we did at the Ouse Plains. Of the, although, of course, it's going to be a bit of an easier undertaking, I think, with how we can all just kind of split up, run around. Love that. Oh, no, he can only do it once. That's a little bit of ass. But it's fine because we have a Cure Zoo that we can utilize on our beloved Leia as well. So I think I will have her move over, kill this asshole. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Except when I miss all the fucking time. Oh my god. So if we had legitimately gotten that other attack off. Y'all, that fucking sucks. That feels so... Oh, just shitty and annoying. Okay, he's standing on stone. We... Oh, God, both of what she's got is what I shouldn't use. Because my Lineed is out of commission, but it's fine. We'll just damage him a little bit more. It should be all good. All good in the neighborhood. So, fuck you. He might die. In spite of the fact that it's... Oh, he's definitely gonna die. Definitely. So then I can follow up, I think, with a heal from her on the squad. Just because I'm not sure Leia with the 600 or close to 700 that we got out of Rupert's heal. I just, I think we could use a little bit of extra something, something. Let me see where they're at. And I might be able to, you know, if I want to get greedy, I could kill this guy. But I don't want it to be at the expense of my team. And if I do it this way... I'm going to get a few of my own team. Well, how much damage would this do? 1,200. That's not bad. Faz would be okay. 500. He would be okay. And Leia, it would do 1,200 to her. You know, I'm not feeling that. I think I'm going to just instead... I think I'm just going to heal up my team instead just to be safe just to be fucking safe like i know i could take that guy out but it's not worth it to possibly fuck up more people oh when you guys get to see recure uh, have i used this on my team before i know that sylphados had it for a while but i don't know if i used it at the house planes maybe i did maybe i didn't but there you go another new spell for you guys to witness i'll try to cast that stara that rupert has at some point oh i could have used that on Faz, to be honest Oh my god, this guy has that seven pains bullshit, and he decoined me. Great. Just great. Fucking figures. Well, I am not fucking around with you anymore, so you can eat my ass. And not in the good way. In the bad way, bro. In the bad way. So let's fuck him up. Perfect. And if I may... I don't like, because uh, if we leave these mages, this is what I'm trying to prioritize here. 
Do I want to focus the mages or do I want to focus these last couple of guards that are just chilling here? Because I think the mages are the ones that are going to get out of control. So I might just throw something up there just to let them know we got our eyes on you. And I think now we should be okay to start looking. Oh my God, that did absolutely nothing. To start looking at getting those hidden items. So friends, we did it. I think that we kind of, you know, we had some scary shit going down, but it ended up working out okay. Just to see this, I don't think we've ever seen, I mean, we've seen the spell before, or at least I think I have seen the coin. It was one that something else I had turned into, but then I think I reloaded because I didn't want it. I didn't think it was really that valuable, but you know what? If I can, I don't think I can hit him because I was going to try to launch him forward, but we're going to leave it at that. We are going to leave it at that. I want to try now taking you guys down is really what I'm all about. Or this mage over here. I don't think that's going to hit anybody. So we'll just do some chip damage. Again, anything to incentivize the enemy healing up their own. And then this will be a wrap. And I would be very surprised if we have that many more fights remaining. I think I've been throwing out a couple predictions so far. You know what? Let's just try to use gain. I know it's not effective against these guys at... Oh, maybe it is. I thought there was like a negative effect. Ooh, if I move this here... Oh, nope, I'm not going to reach him. I'd need to move Irma up one, and I just don't care that much to do it. But I've been saying that I think... There's no way we can have that many fights remaining. We're in the final chapter. We're seeing shit really kind of come together. Not always for the good, but it, it is coming together. Things are happening. That's for fucking sure. Whether they're the types of things we wanted happening, you know, not too sure about it. But, but I think sooner than later we'll find ourselves in the last standoff against Via, I'm guessing is going to be our ultimate, our ultimate boss fight. But it wouldn't surprise me if there's someone else still pulling the strings above Via. But if you think about it, and I'm guessing this is the same Via from the legend of King Sarnus regarding like the guy who was involved initially and in trying to overthrow everything. And I don't know. I still feel like the story is a bit confusing, but I mean, it's really, if you care that much by this point, I guess it's good if you've been following along. I was keeping up, I'd say, the first maybe 20 hours of gameplay, but after that, as compelling as I think the narrative is, I just don't think it's enough for me to really keep me, keep me interested. Something that I think could have been a better idea would have been if they had made this game a turn-based RPG just so that the fights weren't so tedious and and I'll be honest, I I think that the fighting system it's not it's not innovative enough for how long the fights are. And these are things that we've kind of discussed a little bit in the past that I don't necessarily think there's something inherently wrong with the individual pieces and components to the combat mechanics. Like, I think they had a lot of amazing ideas, and I think some of them were executed decently, but I think when you look at the level of depth and how complicated the game ended up being, I just, I guess I don't really, oh, oops, my bad. Let me see who's going first. Oh, I should be able to kill these guys, and then Leia can heal herself. I'm hoping anyway. That's what I'm banking on. But I just, I think that in spite of the individual ideas being okay, like I actually think having a deity system is fine. Did they execute it the best way? Eh, it was okay because when you look at it, there's a lot of complexity to it in that the deities not only impact stat gains if you choose to utilize those specific, hmm, let me see. I guess we'll just use gain, whatever. It won't matter. It will impact, depending on if you choose to utilize the skills that provide that deity's aid, it, it, they influence your stat gain, they influence which weapons you're proficient at. It influences how proficient you are in certain coins, and 
and how much damage you do to opposing units. So I think they had a lot of cool ideas and there are a lot of little teeny tiny minute details that make sense on paper, but just with how the game was laid out, I don't think, I just don't personally think that they really, really looked at all the pieces here. I'm just gonna start out by casting Blea on this guy. We're getting rid of him. Fuck you. Y'all have been fucking with Leia a little too much for my taste. And I think I will try to kill this mage over to the right hand side. Not with her, because she is in a bit of a rough spot right now. Where are you at? And oh my god, one more. She's about to. Can I heal multiple? Yes, I can. Perfect, so she's gonna get that devotion up as well. Thumbs up for that. Oh, I didn't even realize, Faz, you still needed a heal. My bad, my bad. Hey, well that works. More XP for her, and it should be a good chunk. And Rupert, I know you haven't done too much, buddy, but I'll be honest, even if we recruit him, you're probably not coming with me, so don't get too excited. I'll just have her chill for now. Oh, yes, poison clear. Now, the question is, where can I move twice? Oh, I can. How about again? All right, let me not push it. I want to get the hidden item, but I need Sylphados to scout it out for me here. Okay, so it's right here in the center. And I think the other one should be set up the same way, yes? Oh, it's not quite in the center. It's behind these blocks. I think we've got time before we worry about that. So, shall we just start moving people forward and scaring the shit out of these mages? Or I guess I can try to kill. Ooh, he's not gonna be able to cast too much, but whatever, again, chip damage is chip damage. So, anyway, the point of what I'm trying to say, like I'm in and out mentally with what's going on, I'm trying to like fight and still tell you what I'm thinking, but point being, I, I don't personally think there's enough replayability to this game just with how things were structured because I think the fights take too long for how simple they are and even though the mechanics add certain layers of depth to gameplay, I think this game would have been better as honestly just a turn-based RPG or, or a strat, strat slash tactical RPG that didn't have so much going on in the fights. Like if they had scaled back some of the some of the stuff that you had to keep in mind, maybe then I think things could have been eh, maybe a bit more palatable, at least for me. And I, I recognize that maybe for some people this was totally fine. Like you really didn't care that much. It didn't it didn't offend you and offend is probably not the best word but you know what I mean it wasn't as unpleasant of an experience for you to have the fights take super long because that's kind of how some RPGs work you know oh I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him but we're gonna try because if I can get him launched forward that'll Ooh, my bad I almost fucked that up you know what Rupert I really don't care you're not gonna be doing anything for me at this point anyway so if I can, I'm going to fuck your face. So, boom, baby. No immobility? That, like, never lands for the life of me. Uh, I do want to cast something on that guy, but not at the expense of my team. So we're going to start moving some folks up. Where's the other guy? There you are. There you are. Nice try, my friend. But it is going to be a wrap for you too. So I think if this game, just finishing up my thoughts, if it had been more of just a normal turn-based RPG, I think the fights would have progressed significantly faster, which would have made it easier to stay hooked on the story and the characters and their individual needs and wants and the thoughts that they had about certain plot points and devices that have been thrown our way but since it's not and the fights are so long I think for me anyway you just reach a point where you're kind of like eh eh 
Do I really care that much? No. No, I really do not. And it's not that I don't care. I think I've just reached a point where it's not as compelling for me as it once was. I don't think that the fights and the tedium of progressing from plot device to plot device and story piece to story piece, I don't think, I just don't think how interesting those pieces are outweighs the the boring fights. Which I know, it sounds bad and it's really not that big of a deal and it's not the end of the world and you know, I'm still having a good time just because I see the end in sight and I think that we finally got a hold of the mechanics and we got a hold of everything and we've been pretty successful. Like we haven't had a game over yet, have we? I don't think we have. We had Krista die and we might have had someone else die at some point, but we have not seen a complete team wipe. We haven't gotten our asses whooped, which is very possible. And part of it is because I did remember certain things and we did spend a bit of time in the beginning reading through the tutorial. We never ended up finishing all those pieces, but I don't think we really needed to. I think we got the foundational components and then from there, we were set up to where we pretty much could just blast through everything and figure out those other pieces as needed. So that was sort of what, eh, we'll just move him here and see if we can attack him. 32%, I don't think it's happening. But, oh, we did get him. Seven pains, baby. That's what I'm talking, oh, and that weapon break. <gasps> Oh my god. That sucks for him. He just got fucked in the face. So we'll leave him sleeping and that should be it. We'll kill this guy off. And whoever gets to go next will just be the one that kind of runs up, grabs a sparkly item, and then we are done. I don't think it's going to be worth it to try to session this guy. I mean, we could, but y'all have seen how fucking shady sessioning has been in the past. I don't know. I guess we can just see what it would be like, but you know, I just really I really don't want to deal with this. I think I'll just put Leia here and if we're lucky, she will get to Oh my god, because he's out like a light. So we'll just continue to move people closer. His decoin cleared. Not the best. And I don't think Leia's going to get close enough. But we'll see. I'm going to try to use this to my advantage, you guys. I am certainly going to try. If we can... I don't know. Eh. Y'all, are we going to risk it for the biscuit? I guess we could try to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to leave it like this just for now. Because I don't know what's even the likelihood of us. Actually, it is at 100%. So, if we're lucky and she can grab this, which she can, I guess, you know what? Why not, friends? We did it. Actually, can I heal myself? Nope, I cannot. So, that worked out nicely. Well, let's see. Because he would hit it down, down into you. You could hit it this way. Irma will just session down. You guys, this is like one of the first times <laughs> I think this is actually going to work out for me. Let's face downward. And just to not get too cocky. Session downward. Oh, sorry, my bad. We'll just move it back a bit. You chill, Faz. You fucking chill. Um, we'll put it behind Elena. I don't know how much we're gonna get out of this, though, to be quite honest with you. This can go either way. So we'll see. Well, there's that sleep clear. I probably took a little bit too long to get this where I needed it to be, but... It is what it is. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, because now it's only 47% chance as opposed to the 100% that we had. So, if this is going to be a problem. Oh, well, never mind. 
Worked out. We got the five off. I don't know what we're gonna get from him, but whatever. We were successful. That's a lot of XP. And that's a decent chunk of devotion. So hey, not bad at all. I would say that fight ended up going incredibly in our favor, friends. Let's see what we got. We got two hidden items. Recure, ring of death, and a silver robe. Eh. Eh. Three cures is good, for sure. I think... Just depending on where Elena is at, we might give her another cure or we might not. I don't know. But we are now ready for a little scene between Faz and Rupert. So we'll just go ahead and pause things off right here. And when we resume in episode number 69, we will see what Ruth Pearl has to say and ultimately what's on all of our minds, whether or not we can actually recruit him. So thanks for joining me again, friends, for another fight here at Aus. I will see you in our upcoming episode. My name is Rabbit, and I appreciate you watching. See you soon.